Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a natural moth repellent out of ingredients found around the house. No more holes in your jumpers. Let's get cracking. Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you a very good homemade remedy to deter moths from eating your prized and most beloved jumpers. Now, if you're like myself, we do appreciate a very good jumper and we do not want to delve into our wardrobes and find absolutely horrendous holes in our beautiful, lovely and expensive wool outfits. Now, what I'm going to show you is how I create something out of a bag like this. Now I bought I bought a hand wash and this came with it like some kind of a linen. Quite see almost see through it's that thin like a linen um what would you call this? Like a little hmm. but anyway you can make something as similar or you could even go out and buy something similar too but Look around, see what you've got around the house. And if you're quite nifty with sewing, you could sew something together like this. This is rather quite big actually for the job that I'm going to do is, I could have done with something a bit smaller, but it's gonna do the job and it's got little strings and I'll be able to hang this up on my wardrobe and it's going to deter the moths. Now, what I'm going to fill it with is things that uh, moths are notorious for not liking. So let's show you the ingredients. First we have cedar wood. Now I only have the essential oil in the house. Everything I, you see here is what is already that's been found in the house. I've not had to, I've not had to go out and purchase anything to be honest. Just have a rummage through your drawers in your kitchen or in your essential oils stash and I'm sure you'll find something that will um, do the trick. You don't have to have all of these ingredients but if you have, have at least two or three that's going to be a very good deterrent for the moths. So first we have cedar wood, we have lavender essential oil, we have bay leaves, we have whole clove and last but not least cinnamon sticks okay so if you were to put all of these into a small little bag like I've just shown you I'm quite fortunate I don't have to make one and this came in the mail today in an order with my um, um, hand wash so it's going to make it really easy for me to do but I was going to make one of these with um, I've got lots of fabric lying about that's quite thin and yeah it would have been easy to do but I'm being lazy I don't have to because this is here so what we're going to do first is also I would like to say um, if you don't have essential oils but you actually have the actual products in the real, um, you know, form, um, even better. Um, all of my lavender passed away, rest in peace. So I'm having to make do with essential oils. Now, this concoction that we are going to make, it's going to last for about six months. And then what I would do is take all of the ingredients out and start afresh with all nice fresh ingredients and maybe once a week once um, this is hanging in your wardrobe just give it a good crush give it a good feel just to stir up all of those all of those um, beautiful scents coming from the clove and the cinnamon and the bay and that's just going to release those beautiful oils from within 
and um, it's going to be glorious. And also, I shall be topping up with the oars as well, maybe once, once a month. I'm not going to make it a hard job and do every week. But, you know, as you're delving into your wardrobe for your favourite jumper, just give it a little squeeze like that. It's going to do the trick. Right, let's get to this. Let's, let's start with our little... Okay, let me just have a smell of this. Oh my God, that smells so good. I absolutely love cinnamon. It's funny, all of these scents, you know, the humans love, well, most of us do, but moths do not. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just to get the um, aroma really going, just give it a little, give it a little break. Mm. Oh my lordy, that smells absolutely crazy, insanely, stupendously, wonderfully fragrant. Okay, that is absolutely divine. Okay, we've got the cinnamon in. Now it's time for a few cloves. Okay, come on, let's not be shy. Put some clothes in. Let me just have a smell. Oh my god, they smell absolutely glorious. <laughs> absolutely divine. I think we need a few bay leaves in now, don't you? Okay. Just hmm. okay, just give it a little crush. We want the um scent to be dispersed from within the natural ingredient. And we want it out there, don't we? Nice deterrent. And also, what I must say to you is, do not hang your wool jumpers on a hanger because it's going to make them go terribly out of shape. You do not want to do that. It's going to be horrendous. So you might see pictures of beautiful jumpers, sweaters on hangers for promotional purposes to make it look good. But I'm telling you now, you'll be sorry if you do so, because you're going to have shoulders left, right and centre. It's going to look horrendous. OK, we've, got, we've put that in the back. It smells incredibly insane. Give the um, fragrance oil, the essential oils. Just, I'm not going to actually put the oils on the actual pieces of um, bay leaf or the cinnamon, just on the actual bag itself. Okay, so that's a bit of, a bit of lavender. And I think we should finish up with a bit of cedar wood. And already, this has... Let me just move my sweater. Don't want oil going on there. This already is a fantastic. Oh my God, it's a trip for the senses. It's taken me to heaven. I'm actually in heaven. It's glorious. What a lovely place to be. Heaven on earth. So put all that in. Give it a little pull. We've got all the ingredients. Now, I'm telling you now, moths are not going to want to come anywhere near your wardrobe. Now, we've done the trick. Let's go and hang it up. And there we are. Here it is doing its trick. Hung up in the wardrobe. And I can tell you now there will not be a moth in sight and it is keeping the glorious jumpers nice and safe and not only is it keeping the jumpers safe from moths it's also going to give a most glorious 
stupendously divine fragrance to your clothes and when you're wearing them you're going to smell divine and it's all thanks to me honestly you may send me gifts in in a way of appreciation because you will be thanking me for the rest of your life you are welcome don't mention it and oh my gosh i'm not joking this has been up for literally less than five minutes and oh my goodness the fragrance oh the cinnamon the cedar the lavender the clove everything oh my goodness best thing i've ever done honestly i should be on the television i'm wasted anyway join me again for more nifty hints tips and i will show you the way until then i shall see you for more subscribe much love mm -hmm.